not very often I get something to talk about here on the channel that is pretty much an exclusive, uh, I want to say. This is the quick reaction carrier from First Beer. As far as I know, there's no other video or even pictures of this thing out there, really. If you Google quick, quick reaction carrier, uh, it doesn't come up with anything. Um, but yeah, the guys over there were kind enough to send me this one, literally just to talk about it, show over the features. It's not even on their website. There is something similar, which I will uh, talk about in a moment. But yeah, they sent it over so I can run you through the features on one of their more sort of budget friendly, I guess, budget line plate carriers. Uh, not when I say budget, I don't mean a sacrifice in quality, just lessening of the features. So, uh, so it's a more, a more basic setup. It's not designed for wearing all the time. This is something aimed at law enforcement, US specifically. First, we do a lot of gear for police law enforcement. Uh, a lot of their employees are former police. They do a lot of stuff as military as well, and that's probably more prevalent, more known, more seen online. But there's a lot of gear for the police market as well, and that's what we're looking at here. So the basic premise, of course, as you see here, there's, a, there's no cummerbund. You've not got a huge amount of PALS real estate. The idea is to hold plates, a little bit of gear. Uh, this is for the, for the police guy who's got his soft armor vest on all the time, maybe, or just a shirt, and he wants to be able to throw on plates with a couple of magazines and med kits, something like that, really quick. Now, what I'm going to do is link below to the First On 612. Now, First Beer have been selling the First On carrier on their website for quite a while. You can find that under the, the vests and platform section, and that's a standard stocked product that they always do. They did the 612 version in the non-standard, non-stocking area. They, they always have random stuff coming into there where like a specific agency, military unit, police unit, whatever, has ordered a batch of stuff and they've got some extras to sell. So the, the standard first on, similar to this, uh, although we'll go over the differences, but it's simply got an integrated pair of magazine pouches and an integrated GP pouch and it's completely thick on the rear, no pals, just a, a loop area, no pouches. So the standard first on is very cheap. It's like 110 bucks, which is you know, for first beer, that's their, that's one of their cheapest plate carriers, but definitely a good option. And I would say if you want a quality carrier to have some armor, just a couple of mags and maybe a radio or an IFAC or something, check out the first on. Then if you want that same principle of, you know, some plates you can throw on, uh, but you want modularity, there's the first on 612. And then the, the next slight step up from the first on 612 is the quick reaction carrier here. The one above this would be the STT, the 612 tubes that you can get on SKD Tactical. Uh, I've reviewed that one before, so check back on the channel to look at that one. That's probably my recommended carrier for, in terms of first beer OEM because the balance of cost to what you get features-wise is probably the best with the 612 tubes for like, most people, I would say. Uh, in between the first on 612, which is the modular basic carrier with the 612 laser cuts for all your pouches, in between that one and the STT, which actually has a cummerbund four pouches, you've got the quick reaction carrier. Now, check the link down in the description and have a look at the first on 612. At first glance, it seems exactly the same uh, as the QRC here. So I'm gonna run over the differences just, just so, you know, if you're gonna outlay the money so people know what they're actually getting. Now, key one is tubes on the shoulders. The first on 612, the shoulder straps are just straight webbing. They're still same width as far as I can see from the pictures, but the shoulder straps are just sewn straight onto the front plate bag here. They do not have the tubes for the quick detach. So if you want that quick detach on the shoulder straps, then uh, email first beer and say, right, I need the quick reaction carrier and uh, they'll sort you out. So yeah, tubes up here, the, sh the short versions, the shoulder straps themselves are Hyperlon, and then you've got a tweeve cover over, which is good because it's a little bit more comfortable, to be honest, and uh, Hyperlon is just not very abrasion resistant. So you want it covered. That's the, that's the good thing about classic old Cordura, 500D Cordura as we got here versus Hyperlon. You see some play carriers that are just all Hyperlon. They're not gonna resist abrasion and just scrapes and scuffs over a long period. If you're chucking this in and out of a vehicle all the time, um, it's, it's only, Hyperlon is probably gonna wear through so 
again, adjustable shoulder straps made of Hyperlon. Velcro adjustment on these. The first on 612 has more 612 slots going further up. You get an extra row, I think maybe two, and a smaller loop area. The quicker action carrier, taller loop area. You've also got loop on these little patches here at the ends of the shoulder straps. So if you, you can get a really wide patch on there. Sizing wise, the first on 612 is for 10 by 12 shooters plates. The QRC, at the time of making this video, as far as I know, only comes in a large sappy, um, which is this little area you see that extends past the 612 cuts. That's to accommodate a larger plate. Combined wise, this is inch and a half webbing. You got large tri-glide there to secure your excess. The difference again between this and the first on 612 is that this the QRC is designed that if you want to go to like an STT cummerbund or upgrade and get one of the, the full on like Strandhog or AAC cummerbunds down the line, this is much more set up for that because you've got the full four inch tube on here. The standard cummerbund just comes with the two inch tube. Obviously they are completely compatible. They'll just slide on together. No worries. But if you want to upgrade down the line, that's what this is for. So as I say, cummerbund right now, it's literally just one and a half inch webbing, but on the rear of the QRC, and this is a big difference to the 6, uh, 612 first on, is that you have the channel, so a cummerbund can go through here. Another loop field, the, the front and the back are pretty much mirrored. Same loop field, same little areas of loop on the points where the shoulder straps attach. So uh, you can have quite a wide patch, quite tall as well, if you want to boom, one of them big police, marshal, sheriff, whatever. Inside, there's a, uh, not a great deal to show you, to be honest. It's just a uh, plain Cordura. You've got your nice big label, tells you where it is. Made in America, obviously. Stitch work on this is, uh, well, I'm always, when I, when I look at a lot, a lot of other brands, you'll have areas where they're a bit off sometimes, but when you pick up a, a first beer kit, stitching is always just bang on. Like, it's so close to perfect. It's, it's like bleeding onto the edge of that reinforcement in various areas where the, the, the corners of different cuts of material meet up. At the moment, as far as I know, the price on this is about $200. Uh, now that's also the same as the STT. So considering the QRC only comes in at the, as far, at the time I'm making this video, as far as I know, it only comes in a large plate, and it only comes in black, um, then honestly, I'd recommend the STT more because it comes in different colors. It comes with a cummerbund that can attach pals, pouches to it, comes in different sizes. The QRC is it's basically like, if you want large plates, if you want it in black, uh, and you don't want stuff on your sides, sweet, uh, go for it. Otherwise, go for the STT. Um, I've got no hesitation saying that because first beer and making it anyway um so this is a you know this is a specific application um if it have you know it, i think for a lot of police it's probably going to be what they need because you can put your armor plates in it for rifle threat you can have a couple of mags maybe a mag radio ifac on there that's all the space you got maybe if you want more medical supplies boom you can whack that on the back maybe a small hydro if depending what you're expecting to happen uh, or whatever other kit breaching kit perhaps i am not law enforcement i am an armorer so i don't know really about <laughs> what police do so much i know that being able to throw on hard plates is certainly something you're going to want in law enforcement realm my one of my best friends in the states uh, my main buddy over there at first bit is ex us law enforcement and he has a lot of input into the gear they design. I can't link you to this. Just email First Bear if you are in some job role where this would apply to you, uh, and they will, they will certainly sort you out. Uh, if you're watching this one first uploaded, I'll be giving this one away because uh, I have too much gear. So uh, cheers for coming by, folks. Check out the social media links down in the description box below. And that's all I got for you. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time.